Here are five incredibly overlooked programs that will completely overhaul how you are sim racing today. In no particular order, tip number one, Marvin's amazing iRacing app. This app completely overhauls how your force feedback and wheel will feel in game. Start by turning off the force feedback inside of the game. Come to this URL, scroll down and use this download link to install the program. After that, run through the simple, easy steps. It'll pop up and you can come into here into the deep dive details to find a great starting point for the settings for whatever wheel you have. Jump into the Discord community. If you run into any issues, the Discord community is great to get some answers and they will always help you out. After that, go ahead and buy the creator a coffee. They definitely deserve it. So if you use their app, please make sure and do this. Tip number two, one click starter. This program will make everything about booting your race sim up so much faster and easier. Instead of going through all of your programs like Crew Chief, the game, your overlays one by one, you can load them all into this program and execute them with one click. Simply come to this website and find the big blue download button at the top, run through the installer with a few simple easy steps, and you'll then get the program. From here, hit the add new app button at the bottom and go ahead and add all of the executable that you want to use for your game. If you're running multiple setups, you can then use the profile list. After that, make sure you set up if you want the program to close after all of your apps are open and go ahead and hit start all apps. After that, you'll have a nice little icon on your desktop. Every time you start your sim, go ahead and click that and absolutely every program that you need will open up with just a click. Tip number three. Everyone loves using overlays, but once you have too many, you start to sacrifice too much screen space, and we can fix that with a few simple steps. Come over to this URL and hit this big blue download now button to get SimHub. This will be a new overlay manager. After that, we're going to install the lovely dashboards plugin. Go ahead and look through the website and find whatever one looks best to you and install it. After that, you'll have one that looks like this. With a few simple keybinds, you'll be able to have everything in a quick glance and hit left or right to go through different menus all within the same HUD. You'll see here where we have my relative, the standings, a radar, I have my telemetry, I have my tire wear and pressure, and I also have a track map. All of the other data like the fuel and any of my incidents and engine will also be displayed on the screen. It doesn't get much easier or cleaner than this. Tip number four. This one's going to be showing some love to my fellow VR racers. It's called Open Kneeboard and it allows us to put things like overlays, Spotify, and even your Twitch chat inside the car with us while we're racing in VR. To do this, we'll come over to this website and hit this blue download button. It'll download the program and once it's installed, it'll look something like this. Go ahead and click on the tab section and hit add a new tab. Follow it up with window capture and select whatever window you want to capture to bring into the car with you in VR. After that, come over to the virtual reality tab and scroll down to views. Hit the plus button and select independent. After that, select whatever tab you just captured for however many windows you need. Make sure and set up a new view for each window you want to capture. After that, you can adjust the position while being in VR. If you want it more to the left or right, further or closer away from you on the screen, or the roll or yaw, that can all be adjusted here. If you want the item to zoom in when you stare at it, you can turn on or off the gaze zoom feature here. Notice in VR how I can place any of the screens that I just added in Open Kneeboard anywhere in the car that I like. And when I turn my head, they stay in place. So absolutely everything can be customized and placed exactly how you like it. Honestly, I saved the best for last for tip number five, and that's going to be bloops. Bloops is a wonderful program that's going to help you improve your lap times. Come to this URL and hit this button to download and install the program. Once installed, it'll look something like this. Bloops's job is to use information and telemetry of better racers from Garage 61 and then automatically find your car, track, 
and a best lap time of someone else that you can then have an in-game HUD display that telemetry data to you of that racer, along with audible cues for your braking and acceleration. You can follow in-game as you race to see exactly where your acceleration is compared to the other driver, along with their braking. You can also see what gear they were in displayed with a color compared to what gear you're in. Did they rotate their wheel more or less than what you're rotating your wheel? All of this information will be displayed to you in a visual HUD in game to compare your lap times to theirs while you learn the track in real time. Notice how your telemetry's data is overlaid visually of that of the other drivers. As you get closer to your braking points, listen for the audible cue. Each corner as you drive down the track will follow with that telemetry and that audible sound. It doesn't get much easier to learn a track and improve your lap times than this. And there you have it. Those are my top five most overlooked apps to help you with your sim racing journey. If I was right and at least one of these is going to help you or is new to you, then make sure to go down and smash that follow and like button because it helps me out a lot. And I will see you out on the track.